Hello, my name is Kenton, and today I'm going, well, actually over the next couple of weeks probably, I'm going to be showing you how to write a simple text adventure using Visual Basic in uh, Visual Studio 2013. Uh, it sh everything should work in earlier versions like two 2010, it's, where I, like, it's the same language essentially. So uh, let's begin. First you've got to create a new project. Wait while that opens. There we go. Now we want to create a console application. Let's call it Text Adventure because we're making a text adventure. Hit OK. Now the first thing we're going to want to do is hit Save. Make sure that it saves where you want it to. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave, have it save here because it's the standard location. And all my stuff's there. I'm not going to add it to source control, though. <laughs> it's completely up to you, but you'll have to figure out how to use it. And away it goes. And there we go. We're ready to start. Now, first thing we're going to want to do is import uh, import two things. Uh, we're for the two things you're going to import are system.io and system.random. Uh, the system.io is so that uh, later on we can create a simple save file so that our adventurer can save where they are. And the system.random is so that we can do things like determine a random amount of damage or let's say the player gets teleported to a random map area of the map we can use that to calculate that probably won't use it for that purpose but it is an option so anyway imports system.io and then imports system.random now with those taken care of let's uh, let's declare some stuff we're gonna call the name. Uh, or we're, we're gonna name the game. Uh, let's call it uh, Zork point Zork two point right? And let's set ourselves as a simple version so that uh, we so we can. I mean. There's really no need to in something like this, but it's not a bad idea. So that if you ever find an old version of your of your project, you can you can figure out where you were in it just by checking the version, because because chances are you'll remember what you had done at that point. We're gonna do it as a string, because we're just gonna like you know, version 0.01a. And in order to keep track of the room. And I'll get to rooms later that the player is in. We're going to want to have an integer that is ba it basically just going to tell the game what room the player is in. So dim current room. If we get a capital R, that'd be great. As integer equals zero. So by default, we're always going to start in room zero. Now, I'm just, we're just going to get some stuff out of the way here. Here's the player base stats. Okay. We're going to give the player a base HP of 100. You know, standard number for, for games. We're going to give them a standard defense. Or sorry, not a defense attack. I'm not gonna do a defense. You can do offense if you want, but you're gonna have to figure out how to do that. Now we're gonna say you know the player can do fifteen damage by default. Might be OP, might not be, don't know yet. It's always important to comment your code.
not commenting the, your code can end in with an end with a disaster if you went away for a week and came back because you could you could end up having no idea what you were doing when you left and not understand what your own code does it happens so uh let's create a basic inventory And here, we're going to go with, um, you know, let's give, let's have the, the note, dim note as boolean equals false, and dim fist as boolean equals true. So, this is basically our inventory. Um, anything that can be equipped or used going to be kept here. Uh, the fist, you, the player's never going to equip or anything, but it'll be the fallback thing. And it's there for clean, like the, the code's sake. And end inventory. Okay. So, that should be enough for now. Although we're going to want to be able to keep track later on of what we have equipped, but we'll take care of that later. Okay, so let's write our opening. Uh, console console.title equals game name. So, that, so whatever we put here will appear at the top of the console. And... You know, console dot right line welcome to make sure there's a space there because otherwise it won't be formatted correctly and game name and quote exclamation mark oh forgot a bracket and put an extra one. <laughs> uh, console dot right line. Press any key to start. Console dot read key. Now this will just make the console wait for the player to press something. Now. Let's create our game loop. Do until. And you know what? We're going to have to keep track. Or you know what? Uh, Dim player health as integer. Equals player bit player base HP. So just right off the beginning, it'll start off as a hundred, and then afterwards we're going to apply effects. Do until player health e e is equal to or below. Is that the right? Yes. Zero. So basically, this is going to keep going until the player dies. And let's start with a simple announce room. So down here, sub announce room. There we go. Nice little sub. Now, we're, we want to do this. If current room equals zero, then console dot right line you are standing in a field. Beside you is a mailbox with a note sticking out of it.
Now, because we aren't able to go anywhere yet, I'm not going to put any indication of directions you can go yet. Um, later on, we're going to be coming back to this, and we're going to be iterating over this, and adding stuff, and changing stuff. Now, at the, e at the end of this sub, we want to do console.writeLine, and that's it. That should add a space at the end. announce room Oops. now if we run it it should just ke continuously keep announcing whatever room we're in because we haven't yeah see because we haven't set up any way to, d to define input yet now in order to okay let, let's create our let's create a sub to cr get input sub input and what did I have by val input as string now whenever I uh, whenever, whenever I send or whenever I send input I'm going to I'm going to have to do something like this. input and then I would put uh, okay, uh, console dot read line. If I'm not mistaken, let me check. Yep, console dot read line. Read line. Now, what I'm going to do for now is we're just going to have it Say what we said back to it. Uh, okay, console dot right line input. Now whatever we type, it should say back to us. Hello, hello. You're standing in a field. Now, of course, uh, same as before, we want to put console dot right line. The reason we're doing this is so that all the like everything doesn't get all mashed together later on when we're uh, like when you're playing. So you, there's some there's line breaks. Otherwise, you end up with the entire game looking like just a a text file full of scrolling text, <laughs> which is not what we want. Believe it or not, we want it to have that look like paragraphs almost, cleaner paragraphs. Now, the next thing that we're going to want to do is we actually want to uh, take the text that the players put in. We want to split it up so that we can parse it a lot easier. So what we're going to do is... Now, this, this needs to stay at the bottom, okay? All code above this point. Okay, so we want to split it up. Okay. Dim splitter as string equals input uh, dot replace and then we're going to replace the spaces with commas for for ease of splitting now splitter equals splitter dot split oh wait we we, won't, we want to convert it to lower first so that we never have to worry about capitalization or anything like that. Now, splitter equals splitter. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. Dim words <laughs> as string brackets equals splitter dot split 
new character. Bracket, bracket, space, curly bracket, quotation mark, comma, C, and then finishing bracket, is it, which is already there. Now, uh, what words act will be, now words will be accessible. Uh, it, we've basically, we've, we've made an array. We've made an array. Um, so if I wanted to, I could make it so that every time the someone said the words, okay, if words zero, oops, equals LOL, then console dot right line lol to you too and then because we and at beyond this point we always know that word that there's a, always going to be at least one word be like it doesn't matter what it is I would well I mean we're gonna have to add the check for that later but for but after but after that point we're always going to have a try that way we can always uh, just you know if if they didn't type a complete sentence we can just say you know we didn't I didn't understand what you said basically now at this point let's do if words one equals toy then console dot right line hi just for the heck of it we're we're just going to do that and then right here we're just going to do console dot right line what now let's try that shall we lol 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 to you too notice how it's now notice how the lol's there that's cuz we never got rid of or sorry we never got rid of actually yeah that line So there's what we typed. There's what it put, and then, and then we have the uh, LLD2. And then because I didn't put a second word, which could be anything, but we specified toy here, it said what. Now you don't have to put anything there, because it because it could be very possible that you could have you know, uh, attack, which would just attack with whatever the last weapon was, as well as attack with sword, which would both be valid. So you don't necessarily have to put anything there other than the code to attack with the last sword. Or whatever. It's completely up to you. Now. Make that go away. Or you know what? We forgot to do uh, LOL, LOL toy. LOL toy. See. Now, notice how it... Uh, You'll notice that it actually did manage to parse it. So we got put in. We put in LOL, LOL toy. It spat LOL toy back out at us from here, and then LOL to you too from right here. And then the next line is hi, which is if the if that word is toy. You can see how this can be used quite easily to figure out what what the player is trying to say. Um. That's enough for this episode, though, because we're we're coming up on twenty minutes. So um, the next episode, we will continue on, and and hopefully, we're going to be able we're going to start writing things like you know picking stuff up and moving around to the various rooms. I hope you're enjoying the tutorial so far, and make sure that you always save. Okay. Uh, I will include a copy of the project as it is right now, however meager that is, in the uh, in, in the description of the video. Well, that's it for now. <laughs> Bye.